community. Uh, how important is that and how important is it for us to support um, good production of Christian films? Yeah, so many great points there, Brenda. I think it's really important as Christians to get in and start, well, first and foremost, praying. You know, we need to be prayer mm -hmm. warriors to move mountains, and uh, we need to take back that mountain of entertainment. It is important, mm -hmm. you know, today in today's culture, the first thing that most people go on to is their phone or they're streaming something that they're right. watching, and that really does dictate a lot of what they do with making decisions day in and day out, how they view themselves. Um, how they view a culture and so mm. we need to be those warriors not only praying for them and also supporting the projects that come out but we need to be putting pl people in places that can be really light in a dark place that we can be mm. shining bright and making content that really does reflect our views and and really reflects the light of christ and so we work really hard through the women in my world to not necessarily, we don't want to work within the scope of mandates to put women in places. We want to actually create education and resources and put women uh, who are leaders, Christ following leaders in places and positions to make decisions to really equip them in a way to wow. work in entertainment, whether it's behind a camera or in front of a camera. We need those leaders and influences in these places on a regular basis so that we do have a culture that can turn and look at those influencers that are really walking out Christ-like values. And so the Women in My World is really working hard to do that. And we've been able to do that on my last movie, and we're getting ready to go into another one where we'll be doing it again. Oh, very good. I love that. So, you know, you're very multifaceted and multi-talented. How do you stay grounded uh, and balanced in your world? Um, give us some of those tips of how does he ground you and, and what are some of the principles and disciplines that you've, uh, you know, enforced in your own life? Absolutely. Such a great question. I, my first and foremost is the Lord. He reminds me really quickly if I'm not spending enough time with him. You know, our phones tell us how much time we've spent on our phone every week. And I can only imagine if the Lord was constantly doing that to us. And I know he, he gives us little nudges yeah. to say, you're not in my word enough. Mm. Let me mm. show you, let me, you know, and so I really do focus on trying to be balanced. I think mentally, physically, and spiritually is really important. Um, my day starts with my devotional time with the Lord um, and a great cup of coffee and him and I just, you know, spending time together. Uh, I know the Lord comes first and in my life mm -hmm. and all the things that I do, I want, to, as Alex Kendrick always says, he wants to be on God ideas, not just good ideas. And I really believe yeah. in that as well. Um, mm -hmm. My marriage in, is second. I put my husband, mm -hmm. you know, Christ first, marriage second, my children third, and everything after that comes. Uh, and I think the one thing that the Lord always reminds me of is when I start veering a little bit away from where he's called me to is he says, don't forget my women. And when I, and I, when yeah. I'm focused on the Lord's women and really walking in that call on my life, you, it's amazing to see what God is doing. So I would tell everybody who's listening, and watching to make sure that they stay connected to the Lord. It's the best place to be first thing in the morning so that you can start your day on the right path. Our, yeah. our marriage is definitely our second priority under Christ and our relationship with Jesus. So our, our next one is our marriage, really staying focused mm. on, on our marriage and loving one another the best and as well as we possibly can. And third, our children, and then everything else after that. And we do it to the best of our ability, and we do it the way Christ has called us to do it. Not the way that the world has called us, but the way Christ has called us. In.